Good morning, everybody. Stats doing Stats Long Care here. It is Tuesday morning. It is a cold one. There's frost all over the ground, as you guys can see. It's like 48 degrees right now. I freaking love this weather. It's gonna be cold, especially being on the mower. But got some gloves just in case, uh, cause you know when you're you're controlling it, the wind's just blowing right in your face and on your hands, so you get pretty cold. But check it out, guys. We got a new yard over there. So this is the regular uh, two-acre property. Uh, the neighbor called and they wanted a quote for mowing because they they really they needed a cleanup because the yard it hasn't been mowed in a while and the edging is they haven't edged or weeded it in a while so they wanted an initial cleanup price and then a weekly quote after that and so i gave it to them and they said we're good with it go for it so guys today we got four acres to mow we got two acres right here and two acres back there I don't think I'll be mowing the field of this one because it hasn't really grown much. So, but I'm gonna grow this one because it's pretty tall, especially in the back. But it's gonna be a good day. And then uh, after this one, we we'll do one more. And then after that one, we got a little fall cleanup. We got some weeds to pull out of a flower bed, and we got a lot of bushes to trim. And so I'm excited for that one. It's gonna be fun. But anyway, we need to get started with these yards. I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, edge so what, what i figure i'm gonna do is they have a pool in the back too and it's enclosed in the gate i don't know if you can see there's a gate right there or a fence i guess so what i'm gonna do is edge and then i think i'm gonna weed eat everything so because the weed eating hasn't been done in a while so it's pretty tall so then the mower can mulch it up and then in the back the where the pool is i'm gonna use the toro and use the bag on it uh so i don't blow any grass in the pool and the gate won't fit the 48 anyway and I didn't bring the 36 today because I don't need it. So that's the plan. Going to uh, weed eat and edge everything and then blow all the edging back up in the grass so I can mulch it up because I'll show you guys, but you know, you can kind of see it hanging down. It's really long. So, but yeah, we're going to get this day started. I'm excited. Woke up feeling happy today, man. It's been going to be a great day. So let's get it started. So here's the edging that I was talking about, guys. You can see how long this stuff is. I mean, look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's like three feet long right there. Two and a half feet. And we got that all the way, all the way around. So let's get it started. What's up guys? It is about an hour and a half later and I just finished up edging and weed eating 
both properties. So all there's left to do is mow and blow, but I did blow all the edging back up in the grass. Cause if you guys can see, it's all this. And I wasn't just gonna blow this in the yard after I mow. So uh, we're gonna mulch it up with the mower. But what I'm gonna do is go ahead and mow this one first. Not gonna record that and then I'll record me mowing this one. The back field of this one's is a really tall, thick part. So, but I'm gonna mow this Bermuda first, get it done. We'll see you guys in the back of the neighbors. We finished up mowing that one and I blew it off just so whenever I'm done here, I'm done. But as you guys can see, we got some mowing to do. I think I'm gonna mow the whole thing on two and three quarters. So I'm gonna be using the 48 Stander X from right. And we're gonna start here, we're gonna start here and just make our way around. So you guys enjoy this mowing. All right guys, so we got that side of the house done in the front. Now we gotta get this side in the field. Uh, he started, the guy who lives here, he said he started mowing it and I guess his mower broke down or something. So 
we are here to finish it off but you guys can see the difference in the in the height you know this is about six inch eh, eight inches tall we're cutting it down to about three inches so let's get this done All right, guys, what's up? Finally, we're finished here with everything. We're in this cul-de-sac for about three and a half hours, so not bad. Uh, made a bunch of money, I can tell you that. But, as you can see, right there, we need some gas. So we gotta hit up the gas station, grab some ice also, and uh, get gas for the mowers too. So, we'll see you guys at the next yard. At the next one, let's see. Has not really grown that much, but they do want it mowed. I'm sure the backyard grew, it always does. Um, but we're gonna get this one done. Man, my feet are aching, man. I was walking so much on the, the four acres that I mowed. I was walking so much and my feet are just dead right now. They hurt and my back hurts too from holding that weed eater and the edger for so long. But anyway, guys, check out my truck. I gave her a good cleaning and I detailed her yesterday. Got some tires shine on. Uh, I know it's not gonna last long, but I figured might as well get it looking good um, For myself, I mean I haven't washed my truck since like freaking March So I figured might as well do it season's almost over and then I'll give it one last wash before winter and uh, yeah But guys GIE is Officially next week guys. I'm leaving a week from tomorrow So I'm leaving next Wednesday to go to GIE and I cannot be more excited man. I'm so freaking happy this is gonna be awesome. So I'm, I'm looking forward to meeting everybody there and uh, just checking out all the equipment and stuff. It's gonna be great, guys. But until then, we gotta mow, we gotta make some money. So let's do that right now. Well, as luck would have it, I completely forgot to record here. I just got si sidetracked, I guess, just in the mowing, but finished up mowing here, edging, weed eating, blowing, the whole package, the whole shebang. Looks good, man, that 48. Leaves a really crisp cut on this Bermuda grass. Uh, I love it. But all right, now heading to that small little fall cleanup where we're doing the, the hedge trimming and the weed pulling. So uh, my plan, I'll tell you my plan when we get there. We'll see you there. All right, guys, pulled up to the next one, which is also conveniently the last one of the day. So like I was telling you earlier, we have a flower bed clean out cleaning out just all these weeds and junk in here. And then we're trimming up this row of bushes, those two bushes, this hedge right here, and this boxwood right here. And I believe that's all, yeah. So, all right, first we're gonna get all the weeds pulled out, throw them in a pile, mow it over. And then we're gonna trim everything, blow it out, mow it over. And uh, get it done, guys. So, let's do it.
like I fought all my life for this This one part, this one third I always miss No, just don't let it go I started the fight but now I'm losing so What's up? Finally guys, we are done here. And that means we're done for the day. But, okay, we got all the bushes trimmed up. You guys all saw the video. We got this bush trimmed, this one. I blew everything over here, bagged it up. We got all these bushes trimmed. This row is all trimmed up now. And then we got this boxwood trimmed up. So, looks nice. Done for the day. We're done here especially, it looks way better. I don't know if you guys remember, but at the beginning of the season, we trimmed these bushes really small because she wanted it. And uh, now I see why, because now they're all the same size, except for that one, which is dying out. But anyway, guys, we're done here. I'm gonna head back to my house and then we'll see you there. Finally, home, done for the day. It got a little toasty, but it still feels pretty good with the breeze, man. I love these fall days. These are the best days to be solo, especially these beautiful fall days. Uh, by the way, guys, Friday, we're going to have Jackson working with us because he's out of school for fall break, I guess. So I'll interview him, ask him how he's been, see what's up with him. But uh, before I go, I want to ask you a question. So you guys saw the first yard that I mowed, the overgrown property with the, the edging and all that stuff. Um, I want to know what you guys do in these situations. So this customer, at she, uh, I guess her husband or someone who lives there texted me, asked me for a quote, and uh, I told them, I went over there, told them the price, and luckily, these guys, these people were really, really understanding, and they said, we don't care the price, just get it done, and they wanted the initial quote, and then he said, also, can you give us a quote for weekly mowing? So I gave them that, and they said they were good with both. So that's a new client, guys. We got that client uh, for a weekly well now it's going to be bi-weekly but next season it'll be a weekly maintenance and uh i wanted to ask um whenever you guys have overgrown properties like that and do your customers ever like tell you that that's an outrageous price i would never pay that because that's happened to me in the past and then i'll go down on it and then but you know re more recently if people say can you do any lower i'm just like no i'm sorry i can't you know this is my price and if you want to go with someone else down the street go ahead but you know most of the time i don't even have time to, to mess with it you know i'm just so busy as is so uh luckily for me that customer should they actually they actually gave me a 50 dollars tip also like they gave me 50 dollars extra which was awesome that's an awesome customer that's the type of customer that you want guys you know the ones who give you tips and they always pay pay and stuff that's the good type oh i was like hold on. i had a remote i didn't know where it went um but yeah those are the best type of customers guys and luckily those ones were understanding so but i'm happy they didn't say uh that's an outrageous price because i mean that's a, they got a big yard together those two houses are four acres so about two acres each i'm mowing and it was a lot of weed eating because the weed eating and edging hadn't been done in about two or three months so i was i'm sore man i'm sore but anyway i want to know what you guys think if you ever had a customer tell you that's an outrageous price. I mean, I'm sure we all have, but I want to hear if there's some crazy ones out there. You know, outrageous price. Customer won't pay or something like that, dude. You know, if you guys have customers and won't pay you and after you do the work, that's the worst. After you do the work and the customer says, I'm not paying you that. And you're like, well, yeah, you are. You know, I had to do that. I had to take someone to court because of that. So anyway, guys, done for the day. Uh, I'm not going to do a video the rest. I'm not going to do a video tomorrow or Thursday, but I'm gonna do a video Friday when Jackson's with us. So you guys can, if you guys wanna put some questions in the comments for me to ask Jackson, I will ask him that on Friday. So yeah, you guys do that. It's like a, a Q and A sort of. If you guys have questions about how Jackson's been or what he's been doing, put them in the comment section below and I will ask him on Friday. I'll put them all together and uh, ask him. So we'll get that done. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. See you Friday. Peace out.